Scorpio, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing great. Uh, going to do your love reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Everything about my channel is in the description box. I have opened up personal readings again. So if you'd like a personal reading, my contact details are below. I'm giving away a free personal reading each month. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, those details are below as well. And then lastly, there will be an extended reading link below. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out, okay? I will look at the next three weeks energy going forward from this reading. And I treat it like a personal reading as well. So looking at, right, their feelings, their upcoming actions, their intentions. We'll get some love notes and guidance as well. So with that, Scorpio, let's get started here with your reading. See if the energy is here for Scorpio. Wow, Scorpio, interesting. Okay. Interesting, Scorpio. There's someone I feel here. You're going to get some communication with. I can't tell if this is a new person or this is someone that you've been dealing with. So let's just go through the energy and we're going to see what this is about. All right. Well, actually, you know, communication, not necessarily communication, but I see a romantic interest. Okay. A chance of a new a uh, romantic love opportunity here okay but we're going to go through this we're going to see what this is about you got the four of swords you have the eight of swords and you have the page of cups okay now i feel like for some of you, there could be somebody here that you're waiting for communication some of you could just be waiting right to meet uh someone new a love interest here um i'm also feeling like it definitely gets some of you there could be separation here between you and someone right not a whole lot of communication i also sense here too there could be a friend here that's interested in you and you're not too sure and what's interesting too we got two pages here we got the page of wands here as well uh, with and also that page of cups so let's see what's in your person's energy. We got the Six of Cups. We got the Sun card. Look at that. And the Ace of Cups. I feel there's a soulmate energy here, uh, Scorpio, that is in your vibration right now. And there's potential for love here, a romantic opportunity. We're going to see who this is because I feel for some of you, this could be a new person and some of you, this could be somebody from your past, right? Maybe somebody you've been hoping for communication, not necessarily past, but I'm going to say some of you, I get friendship and some of you, I get here. This could be someone that you just know from your past, doesn't have to be an ex, Okay, maybe somebody that you were interested in, maybe it never happened, you know, there's a lot of different uh, situations for you, but you have the nine of swords and you have justice here. So some of you could just be feeling like, right, that maybe you're just feeling like it's not fair here, right? Maybe you haven't had love in your life for a while, haven't seen a lot of movement, but I'm also getting for some of you... Um, this could be around, you know, a situation between you and someone that you're just not seeing a whole lot of movement, okay, that's on your mind. We also have here, and this could be somebody else too, worried, take the roles how they, they are reversed here, okay, I mean, take the roles how they resonate with you, they can be reversed, this is also so, could be someone here that needs to do the right thing for things to move forward between you and them, okay? Um, but let's see. We got the Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Ten of Cups. So this is telling me this is the end of difficult times, Scorpio, in your love life. And it feels like your love life is moving towards something really 
happy here. So, okay, we could have two scenarios going on here. We could have a new person coming in and we could also have somebody here where you're on this person's mind. Um, and this may be someone who needs to make things right. And that could be here too while you're in that space. But let's, um, I'm going to first clarify who, why is the six of cups here, please? Why is the six of cups here, please? Okay, so we got the page of swords. We got the magician. Oh, someone's really attracted to you, Scorpio. Got the queen of pentacles. Wow, Scorpio, someone sees you. Someone's trying to manifest you here. It's still not telling me if this is somebody new. We'll see when we get to the Ace of Cups. But we got the Page of uh, Swords, the Magician, and the Queen of Wands. So this could be somebody who's checking you out online. Could be somebody who is very curious about you, very attracted to you. Uh, someone I feel here that wants to make things happen. Some of you, this could be someone you know or a friend too is what I'm getting there. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. And the Ace of Pentacles. And look at that. We have the counterpart here. We have the King of Wands. So upcoming, I feel like this could be um, somebody who is actually looking to build a relationship with you. This could be someone who... I'm going to say, um, they know your value, they know your worth, and they see the potential of a future with you. Okay, let's see why the Ace of Cups is here. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Okay, look at that. We got the wheel. We got the wheel here too. Wheel of Fortune. We got the Page of Wands, which we have the Page of Wands over here as well, repeating energies. I might have to clarify the Page of Wands. Okay, and we have the Ace of Wands. Wow. And we got the Six of Cups here. Okay. Sometimes Spirit does this to me. They don't really tell me if this is someone new or if this is someone <laughs> from the past. Um when we clarify down here, we may find out more, but I'm just going to ask, who is this page of wands? Who is this page of wands? And then we'll go through that. Okay, the seven of wands. I saw your energy on the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. The devil, Capricorn energy. I'm going to do one more. And ten of pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck here is the King of Pentacles. We saw the Queen of Pentacles earlier. More and more, I'm feeling, Scorpio, this is someone who wants a romantic opportunity with you. And they see you as somebody that they could be in a relationship with. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like there is something around fate, orchestrated, orchestrated timing here between you and this person it's almost like this is going to come together in the right time the universe wants to make this happen you have um the seven of wands the devil and you also have here the ten of pentacles hmm this is going to be someone who's a little bit obsessive or controlling here in um, a relationship. That's the only thing that I'm picking up from this person. So this could be somebody who's a little bit obsessive, controlling. Um, you know, like I said, it's not really showing me clear here if this is someone new or someone you know. But this could be somebody um, who that they, that uh, things never really went to something committed or long-term. It does feel like there could have been some sort of challenge or block if this is someone that you were dealt with. Now, addictions could have got in the way, um, but this also could be someone who's fighting for you, okay? Someone who's going to fight for this relationship here, okay? So let's go down here. Let's see if we can get more information Okay, 
Why is the Nine of Swords here? What's this worry about? Why is this person worried? What's on their mind here about Scorpio? And then we're going to get the potential outcome. We got the Eight of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, and we also have here the Hier Hierophant. Well, it feels like this person here wants things to move forward between the two of you. It almost feels like um, what's keeping this person stuck with the Eight of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles is, I feel like, almost like how to take that step towards you. Uh, maybe hear what to say, what to message you. I'm going to say for some of you, it could also be that this person um, coming forward to you, they need to be more honest, more open. Or there's some sort of truth here. I'm just going to clarify, why is the Eight of Swords here, please? Why is the Eight of Swords here? There's definitely something here. Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Okay. This may be someone, I know this sounds funny. Uh, this could be someone who's a bit socially awkward, not someone who is not very vulnerable. Yeah, I'm picking up Eight of Cups, somebody who could uh, be someone who is emotionally unavailable. Yeah, so Spirit's doing this for a reason. Sometimes they don't show me if it's a new person or if it's somebody that you know, only because there's so many of you out there, okay? It's a general reading. So I feel like you're going to have to take it how it resonates. But I sense here that this is someone, it feels a little socially awkward, um, does feel like somebody very smart, does, do, does well in business, um, could be a little bit immature when it comes to relationships, but you got the eight of cups here. Now, for some of you, if you feel like this is someone that you know, somebody, like I said, maybe they need to make something right here between the two of you. I sense that this is someone who could have pursued other options, could have even been someone who was a breadcrumber in the past. Uh, that could be here, right? They could be afraid. Maybe you block this person or maybe they um, are worried that you've blocked them. Okay, so that's going to be for, for those people. I'm going to clarify here. Um, you got the Wheel of Fortune and you have the Ten of Cups. Let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here, please. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, please? Okay, so we have the King of Cups. We have the Three of Swords. And we also have here, I don't know why, but my phone is blowing up right now. I don't know if you can hear it. It's been vibrating, <laughs> okay, over and over and over. I've had to turn it off while I'm talking, okay. I feel like that's a sign from the universe. There's Someone's going to be blowing up your phone soon. <laughs> okay, you got the King of Cups. You got the Three of Swords, the Knight of Cups. And you got the two of pentacles and the bottom of the deck here, you have the moon, you got Pisces energy. Okay. Okay. You know, a lot of you, I sense this is someone here who's coming back around. Okay. They want to find balance again with you. Could be someone you've had some on and off with. Okay, but I'm also getting here, Scorpio, that there could be two energies here, all right, because you have a soulmate energy here and you got an ace of cups. So there could also be two energies. You could have more than one option and you're one of those signs. I always say you have, you could have more than one option. So I feel there's an opportunity at the very least for you and someone here from your past to heal things, um, to work something out. Um, but I'm also feeling here that, you know, you could decide to end this and I feel like there could be another opportunity here. Okay. So, you, you know, there's a little bit of the unknown factor here. I feel Scorpio of how things are going to work out, but I do feel like there's someone here who's coming towards you who wants to make you happy. I do see a new beginning, a new start here in love with someone. I'm just not too sure 
who this someone is. Okay, take it how it resonates. Let's see uh, what the potential outcome of the situation is here for you, Scorpio. And then we'll go to the extended. What's the potential outcome here of the situation for Scorpio? Okay, we got the Six of Swords. Well, it's an energy of things getting better, right? Coming maybe out of a difficult time um, in your love life. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles. All right, this could be someone coming towards you, wanting to put in the, t the effort, the work here. Could be someone at a distance too. Page of Swords. Okay, so someone who is going to really pay attention, I feel, to you. There, it feels like they're going to pay attention to the small things, um, whoever this is. And the King of Swords, yeah. Communication. They're really going to listen to you. I'm hearing that. They're really going to listen to you. I sense here, like I said, pay attention to the little things here. Let's see what else. Okay, Seven of Cups. Get another card for that Seven of Cups and the Star card here. Okay. So this is someone I feel uh, who could be dreaming about you or they're just really, you know, um, exploring the possibilities here. I do feel like this is someone who has hope here with the Star card. Someone I feel, um, someone who could already have feelings and emotions for you. But I feel like this is someone, too, who's becoming quite clear about this connection or what they want. And, and I feel like you got someone coming towards you who wants to pay attention to you, who wants to really, um, I feel, communicate and listen. And you may be in this person's dreams, okay? There's a faded energy here, too. So this could be someone envisioning the possibilities with you as well, the conversations that the two of you are going to have. So let's see where it's going to go here in the next three weeks here, Scorpio. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.